Are you still on Windows 10? Maybe it's because your computer do not support Windows 11, right? Or maybe you don't want to update on Windows 11 because your computer maybe will perform slow. 31 October 2023, Windows 11 released new version 23H2, okay? Maybe this version will perform better on your computer, okay? I think they did a lot of updates on security, a lot of updates on performance. There are some new updates with AI. I'm Daniel from tips to fix and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to upgrade your Windows 10 to Windows 11 23H2 on your unsupported computers, okay? Even you already install Windows 11 on your unsupported computer, but your Windows 11 is version 22H2, it will work for you if you see and choose every single detail that I will explain on this video, okay? Let's upgrade this computer, okay? First thing that we have to do, let's go to tips to fix website, use this bypass also, let's see if this will work on the newest version and uh, here it is the original script i will keep it here what i need is pc health check okay it's easy for me guys to download pc health check directly from here just install pc health check and let's check my computer now so what is punishing me this pc doesn't currently meet the windows 11 system requirement more about my CPU is punishing me it's because it's uh, sixth generation okay even if it's seventh generation also will not work, I mean, will not support it. But with this method, it's official method, okay? It's allowed by Microsoft, the method that I'm going to show you. As you saw in the other video tutorials that I did, is the same method and let's update the script. Let's update the bypasser, okay? Let's get the newer one, okay? Let's download Windows 11 here. Select the version you want. I want to download this ISO file, okay? Then click download. Language, I will choose English or English International, guys make sure here when you select the language select the language that is the same with your windows 10 okay so go ahead and go to language windows display language is united states if you don't want to see that message you are not able to keep files and data here it is you have to download the same version language okay go ahead and download this 64 bit and we are ready to go after we download Windows 11 ISO file is Windows 11 23H2, right click and click mount, okay? Then click okay here, then here it is. You have to click setup and try to see, okay? Okay, so click here, not now, and let's see that message. We are not able to install Windows 11 because of the processor. Okay, it's checking. Let's see that message, okay? Here it is, the processor isn't supported. Click close. Now, Ways to install Windows 11 on unsupported computer. This blog post is from Microsoft, okay? So other ways to install Windows 11 but not recommended is this one here with registry key. This method works when you wanted to upgrade from Windows 10 to 11 directly like I'm doing, like here. But if you wanted to do clean install, you have to go and download Rufus. Go and find Rufus. Make sure you have a flash drive, eight gigabyte minimum. You have to select ISO file that we downloaded, standard Windows installation, then here it is. If you click start, click all of this, remove requirement for secure bot, TPM, processor, then you are ready to go and create the flash drive. See the next video tutorial for this case. I'm not going to stop here for the moment. I just explain you a little bit, very fast. If you wanted to see how to make a clean install, click the info cards here or the other video tutorial in the end of this video, okay? Uh, now, let's go ahead and let's make this computer ready. I have to go here on regedit, register editor. Let's see the method that Microsoft is saying. Microsoft is saying go here on HK local machine, go to system, okay? Go to system, setup, then more setup, right click, new, Dward 32 bit. Let's paste the name, double click, and then click the value 1. Now let's try again. Set up. Okay. So look at this. I will click accept. Then now. So this is the method with register editor. So it's giving me an error. Using this method doesn't work for me, as you see. The best method that I suggest for you guys is let's go and download Bypasser, okay? 
If you go to my website, click the link on the description and then you will be able to download the bypasser that I have here. But let's go to the original author script and see what he did here. Okay, here is the new script. It's updated four months before. What I'm going to do, I'm going to download this. And I have this file now. This CMD command, I will bring it here. And then what I'm going to do with this bypasser, right click. But first of all, go to regedit. I'm coming here to register editor here. And what I'm going to do, I will delete what I created. Run bypasser, okay? So don't worry, we don't have any problem here. It's just because it's a known publisher. Go ahead and make your study, see all the details, but I did run and see no problems, okay? Just right click and run as administrator, okay? Don't forget that. Now double click on the setup. Click next, click accept here, making sure you're ready to install Good. As you see, the bypasser is working well. Go ahead in my website and download the bypasser 23H2. I will rename this one here. Go ahead and download it. Use it like I'm doing. All you need to do, click install button here. Then you will see the installation process will start directly. So here we are, we are on Windows 11 23 H2 on unsupported computers, okay? Here is the version and my computer has unsupported processor, okay? So it looks good and fast, it's not, it's not slow, I mean it's the same, it looks the same as it was before with Windows 10, so the performance looks okay. I'm recording now, screen recording with this computer and then let's see the uh, processes task manager and let's go ahead and see what is going on here let's see okay my gpu is uh, not more than 40 percent ram is 5.5 and cpu is in a good condition okay so i'm recording with full hd in this moment and it's working okay if you already have windows 11 but you have version 22 h2 and you wanted to upgrade on version 23H2, use also the same bypasser, okay? So you wanted to install Windows 11 update. Okay, the processor isn't supported, okay, for this version, but I already did it, okay? Run bypasser again as administrator, then waiting for five seconds. Let me try again, click setup again, and let's see. Next. Okay, so it's working. I already have this and this is the reason why I see this keep nothing, okay? So, but you have to be on 22H2 to get this update on Windows 11. So this is it. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe Tips to Fix. Enjoy your Windows 11. God bless you. See you on the next video tutorial.